guys, happy vlog, happy Friday. It is about 10 o'clock, almost 10 o'clock. So we have a very busy weekend. Before we get into it though, I did wanna say thank you to AG1 for sponsoring this weekend vlog. I'm sure all of you guys have heard about AG1 by now. I know I've seen it all over the place, which is what piqued my curiosity. And we will get into that a little bit later in the vlog. If you wanna know more information, I will throw a QR code up here on the screen. Also, they have a great promo for you guys right now. So for your very first purchase of AG1, you are going to get free five travel packs of the AG1, which is super handy, especially if you guys are gonna be out either for Memorial Day weekend or summer break. And you're also going to get a one year supply of the AG1 D3 plus K2 liquid supplement, you guys. Okay, so you guys know I'm always on my feel better wellness, take care of my needs journey. Like that is just me getting my life in order. And I think it's just so important. You know, if you put yourself first, then you can take care of everyone else. So if you guys want more information on that, like I said, code up on the screen, there will be more information in the description box of this video, but there are a lot of things we need to get into before we talk about AG1. One of them is, get ready for it. What is this with, what is with romantic lighting? Do you see that? That like radiant reddish glow in the background? I have missed you guys and we are a couple of weeks behind, which means that tomorrow is going to be a very crazy day because, wait for it, wait for it. Oh, <laughs> we're officially that house. We're gonna be that house this weekend. That Actually, wait, there's no kids here right now. They're in school. I am missing out on this opportunity. Hold, please. Oh my goodness. Oh, my feet are wet. I'm sliding everywhere. Wow. Oh my gosh. I have it all to myself. I have it all to myself. <laughs> is this weird? I think this is like, this is awesome, right? That means. Parker and I can use it tonight for date night. We can have a bounce house date. Gosh, I don't know. You know they make these little windows really small. Probably some grown-ups don't get in there and jump around like I just did. No regrets, zero, none whatsoever. Okay, so here's the update. I've missed you guys, it's been two weeks. Actually, I should probably, should probably turn that off now, huh? I'm afraid if I turn it off, it's gonna collapse on something it's not supposed to collapse on. Is there a button? Maybe there's a button somewhere? Okay. We found the button. Hopefully it doesn't collapse on our fence and then break the fence down and then big trouble. Okay, so I have to update you guys on something super, 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 super exciting. So, you guys know that we have been at this house for maybe three or four years now. And since moving here, I have been trying to groom our local wildlife and to no avail. So remember Lou? Lou was our fatty squirrel, disappeared. Then there was Lulu. Then there was, uh, oh man, the one with the really fancy name. We called her Conchita, but she had like a really long name. And it's just, we haven't had much luck. But the other day I was in my studio and I spend so much time there now that I start to notice things and I'm like, wow, those birds sound very interesting. Those birds sound very interesting. I've never heard those birds before. Well, we have two sets or two couples of cardinals that live in our magnolia in this tree here. And they're adorable because I guess, I don't remember if it was one of you guys or if I saw it somewhere that uh, cardinals are usually symbolic almost like butterflies or dragonflies of a loved one visiting you. And right after the Topo and Wesley passed away, on both situations, we had two cardinals visit us. One cardinal was like really lanky, really small and like spry and skinny, bright red, almost orange. And then the other one looked like a meatball. I'm sorry, but that looks exactly like the Topo and Wesley. <laughs> Well, it turns out they live in this tree and they have little wives now. 
so we got on Amazon and we ordered a little bird feeder for them and we are so popular. However, I still can't groom any of them. And we do have a visitor squirrel. She's a mama and I'm pretty sure she's pregnant because she's like really, really chunks. And she does like the upside down eating like that other squirrel that used to visit us. So I have this little, little bird feeder. It's really hard to fill in the middle so I don't. I just do the sides and they love it. So hopefully sometime in this vlog, I'll be able to show you our like Wesley Jr. and the Topo Jr. and their wives because it has been such a cathartic, relaxing, and I don't know, sort of beautiful thing to witness because now that Parker removed the screens from my window and I'm like literally always sitting there either crafting or editing or doing whatever, I get to see them and it's lovely because they actually announce that they're there they either chirp really loud or the squirrel starts to get all you know you know how squirrels like sassy squirrels how they get all like I'm gonna this is my squirrel impression by the way so it's uh it's really it's really nice it's nice to be able to be in that room for so long and also have something so cute to watch speaking of cute I'm gonna need you guys to take a seat like just really quick Sit down because your heart won't be able to take the amazingness that this is. But I need a chair. I'm too excited for this. Too excited. Ooh, I got money in my pocket. All right. Got a message. And this is the beauty of sliding into my Etsy messages is we make friends and we fulfill special requests. So you guys know that I do those beaded lanyards for your cell phones. However, I had a teacher slide into my DMs and say, I love that concept. Do you think you could do one longer for my teacher badge, like my ID badge? And I was like, okay, answer a few questions. Your favorite color, uh, color of hardware, gold or silver, and anything else like you need me to know, like maybe your favorite Sanrio character. And she's like, all right, here's my name. I like blue. Pachaka's my favorite and I need it to be silver. And I was like, hold my drink. Look at this teacher lanyard. <gasps> I know. I know. Look at that chunker monkers. Look at little chubby Pachaco. Oh, it even matches my nails. Wow. It's almost on purpose. It's totally not. I did blue nail polish because uh, Daniel's favorite color is blue and his birthday party is tomorrow. And this is just the kind of person that I am. So I asked her, I was like, do you need to be retractable? Like it was like, you know which ones I'm talking about? Like that sh -sh 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 like a yo-yo she's like no no just a long lanyard for my id and i was like oh yeah i can do that and so we did the same it's literally the same concept the only difference is that i added these beads i found these little round ones in my stash that i hadn't used which i thought were beautiful and then i did these mock glass beads so they're supposed to look like glass they're actually plastic which is nice because it doesn't add to the weight like it really doesn't weigh anything. I think the heaviest part is gonna be the actual ID. But, oh, I was like, oh my God, I have to show you guys. So if you guys have, have to wear your badges or have lanyards or whatever, like we can do these too. I love how I say we. And I don't mean we like me and my company. I mean, we like us. <laughs> because I physically do it, but you guys are the inception, right? Like you give me the idea. So we do it together. So I thought that was really, really cool. I did want to remind you guys though, Mother's Day is around the corner. And as a mom, as much as we say we don't want anything, we mean we don't want to do anything. We don't want to decide anything. We don't want to like prepare anything, but we do want gifts. So if you guys were planning on getting anything for your mom, grandma, I don't know, mother figure in your life, now is probably a good time to get cracking on that because I anticipate... I might not be able to do them as fast as I normally do. <laughs> just, a, just a heads up. Oh, look, we also got a little, a little dog tag for Miss Esme. Cute, right? Hey, you guys. We interrupt your regularly scheduled programming to bring you a little bit by our sponsor, AG1. Today is one of those days where I don't have my life together, and I do not take this first thing in the morning. So you guys know I wake up super early right at 4 30 or 5 every single day it's not for the faint 
And part of that routine consists of taking my AG1 on an empty stomach. Now, I was a little bit skeptical, let's be honest, but I'm also one of those people that loves to try things for herself to say that I did. And I was a very pleasantly surprised because you guys know, I'm always on a wellness journey where it's not so much hardcore fitness or hardcore diet or hardcore anything. It has to be something that lands softly into my life because everything else is already so complicated and so complex and so busy and so go, 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 that if you're gonna do something to make yourself feel better, like it really has to fit in nicely, you know? Like easy nicely. So with AG1, it's actually a foundational nutrition supplement, which means it's going to help you in almost everything that you can think of from healthy aging to gut health, pre and probiotics, immunity defense, your daily nutrients, energy and focus. I mean, it has you covered. And here's the thing. I love to talk to you guys about stuff that I can consume, like ingest, that's my thing. You know, if you tell me that it's gonna be something good for me and I get to eat it, I love to eat things. I love to drink things. I love when something fits into my life that I can consume, you know? <laughs> So a lot of you ask, what does it taste like? Because I think with a color like this, you automatically go to like green juice, you know? It does not taste like that whatsoever. In fact, I would say the flavor is almost subtle, like very subtle. It has a very, very, very faint sweetness to it. And it's cool because you can kind of take it either way. You could squeeze a little bit of lemon juice in there and give it more of a green juice vibe, or you can leave it as is, and it's a very, very light, sweet, subtle flavor of not much. <laughs> I hope I'm allowed to say that. I was thinking though, the flavor of it almost reminds me of something that would pair really well with some kind of nut milk, cute ice, an adorable glass straw cup thing, and sort of like a, a fun drink to have because the flavor I think would pair really, really well with something like that because it does have that very light, creamy sweetness, but it's, I, I hate to say it's sweet because it's barely sweet, but I could see how squeezing a little bit of lemon juice in here would really make it something exciting, you know? So here's a fun fact of AG1. Since the company launched, they have redone the formula 52 times because they keep coming up with ways to make it better. Yeah, they're like, okay, sure, immunity defense. All right, sure. Focus, uh, let's say daily nutrients, um, gut health. What else can we add in there? Hey, can you find people a husband? <laughs> so your AG1 is gonna come equipped with pre and probiotics, vitamins and minerals, antioxidants, uh, stress adaptogens. It has superfoods, mushrooms. It's good for your digestive health. You know what? I take that back. I don't want to say mushrooms. Even though it does have mushrooms, I don't want to say that because there's a lot of people that don't like mushrooms, but you can't take, I, I'm t telling you guys. Eight to 10 ounces of cold water, you drink it in a jiffy. I almost wish the serving was a little bit bigger because then I could justify making a bigger glass, but it is delicious. Ultimately, I think I'm of the firm believer that if I'm gonna do something that is good for my body, good for my health, good for my brain, I'm not super concerned about taste. However, if it tastes good, that's kind of a bonus. You know what I mean? Like, he's handsome, he's cute, uh, he supports my goals and dreams, and he can dance! Like, that's what you're getting here. <laughs> Your AG1 can also dance. I can't dance, by the way. <laughs> also, if you are concerned about maybe dietary restrictions, it is gluten-free, it is dairy-free, it is egg-free, it's peanut-free, lactose-free, I mean, all of the freeness that you can think of. Added sugars, I know that's a big one for people is added sugars, like, I'm, I'm, I'm not anti-added sugars, but it's nice to know it doesn't have any added sugars. The promo. All right, so if you guys have been on the fence to try AG1, look, there's mine, I'm done. Like, I'm, I'm already, mm. I'm already done with my AG1, and I'm not even done chatting with you guys. So if you guys were on the fence to try AG1, here's the scoop. If you are a new customer, you're signing up, you've been curious to try, there is going to be a little QR code up here on the screen. 
There's gonna be a link in the description box. If you click on that link, you are going to get five free travel size packets of the AG1 in case you're going out of town. So you have your daily dose of AG1 that you can bring with you in convenient little packs. And you're going to get a year supply of the vitamin A, G, D3 plus K2. <clears throat> Say that five times in a row. All right, so that is what this looks like. And you guys, you need one drop a day. That's it. One drop a day, and you're going to get a year supply of that if you shop with the link in the description box below. I think whenever I am looking for something to improve my life, to improve my mental health, you know, for me these days, my 40th birthday is around the corner and my concern isn't the wrinkles on my face or if my face is dull or lackluster or if I've gained a couple pounds. You guys, since opening my Etsy shop, I have gained like 10, almost 12 pounds from sitting down all day. <laughs> and that's not so much what concerns me. I think what concerns me is my mental fog, my energy, my patience, and just my overall mood or well-being, not so much what I look like, it's what I feel like. And the older that I get, I start to value that how I feel on the inside matters infinitely more than anything else. So if I am doing something like this, to put myself first, to get my ducks in a row, to make myself feel better, and just making it a part of my healthy routine that I've maybe already figured out, which I'm kind of proud of myself, then I think it's worth a shot. I really do. And I also think it's nice to be able to combine this with any other things that you're doing for your mental health journey or your physical wellness journey or whatever your me first journey is. So whether that is certain types of vitamins that you're taking, a regimen at the gym, a special diet that you're trying, starting therapy, whatever it is, it's nice to be able to add something like this that you can look forward to, but that falls easily and seamlessly into your routine. So for me, when I get up, it's either 4.30 or five in the morning, I get up, the entire house is dark and silent, I walk to the kitchen, I turn on my tea kettle that always lives on my counter, I make my tea and while the water is uh, waiting to boil and my tea is steeping, I do this. And it takes me like two, three sips and I get to work, you guys. And it's so nice to be able to feel like when I wake up, I'm in control of giving myself a good day. And I do that by putting things in my body that are going to help me with my stress, with my mental focus, with my gut health. I think as much as it physically makes a difference and I notice my skin glowing despite me not being able to get a tan yet. You know, seeing all of that is nice, but feeling nice, there's no price for that. So all the information for AG1, including the promotion, will be listed in the description box of this video. And now I'm gonna let you go so you can enjoy the rest of this vlog. Anyway, okay. Uh, tomorrow is Daniel's birthday and this kid with his adorable, beautiful face convinced me to throw him a tie-dye party. Now, I'm pretty good at figuring stuff out, but some things I'm like, you know, I really have to uh, get realistic expectations on my confidence level. And he's like, mommy, you can do it. I was like, okay, yes, I can. <laughs> so we are going to somehow figure out how to do tie-dye with like eight to nine little kids tomorrow, save their tie-dye, and at some point this weekend, rinse it, wash it, and then have, have it delivered to their friends' houses so that they could see what they created. But that's also why I got the bounce house because tie-dye is going to make an explosive, catastrophic mess for about 20 minutes. And then after that, we got two and a half hours to fill. So we're definitely gonna do pizza cake, bounce house, and a pinata. Yeah, I don't know if I showed you guys, but my loving, handsome, beautiful, gorgeous husband is the pinata expert in this house now. What, the white man in this house? Yes, yes he is. He has a pinata place. He literally calls it my pinata place. And I told him, I was like, it's a tie-dye party, figure it out, and he's like, it's for my best friend, I got this. So he found the pinata and then I just put a big sticker on it, which might be falling off at the moment. Look at this. 
What? I mean, did he deliver or did he deliver? All I have to say, it's something for Daniel and he shows out. That's who my husband is. You know what though? We have to talk about something. Do you guys remember in a couple vlogs ago that I was like, look, we're gonna have a rant moment. Like these are, this is a girlfriend conversation. We're gonna talk about personal stuff. And I was like, you know, we've just, we, we've had a rough go because date night and this and that. And a lot of you were like, oh my God, I needed to hear this conversation. Okay, so here's a follow up. Parker has proactively scheduled our last three date nights. We have one tonight. And I'm like, I'm not used to people in my life messing up, apologizing, and then changing their behavior. Like, I'm not used to that. I'm used to people in my life messing up, gaslighting me, getting defensive, and continuing the behavior. <laughs> that is what I'm used to. So I feel so upset at myself because I'm not letting myself enjoy this. I'm like, this is weird. Something's off. Like something, like something sus, right? Like the fact that we could overcome this obstacle and move on. And he's actually like taking this off of my plate and, and being excited about it and planning it and doing such a good job. And he's listening to me. I'm like, yeah. <laughs> You know what this means, right? Like I'm, I'm waiting for the shoe to drop. And that's not fair because I should just be having fun and enjoying it. The fact that he did that, I'm actually really excited because I sent him this uh, sports bar on Instagram. It just came up in my feed and it looks like a sports bar, which checks his box, but it looks like it has gourmet food which checks my box and it's local. So we're very excited about that, that we don't have to like Uber for 40 miles somewhere to the big city. I'm just, I need you guys as my friends and my social network and my support squad, my SS, my support squad to say, to give me permission to enjoy it. You know what I mean? Because it's sad that you've lived on this planet for 40 years and people just continuously disappoint you or gaslight you or do stuff they're not supposed to and then you just get used to that so that when something is emotionally healthy and like is supposed to regulate your your nervous system, it does the opposite. I'm like, what are you up to? Are you doing something you're not supposed to? Is that why you're being so nice to me? Is that why you helped me take out the trash the other day? It's a terrible feeling. I don't wish that on anyone. I, I wish emotional health and happy feelings and relationships that make mistakes and heal healthily from them, but don't make us paranoid <laughs> or nervous because I feel nervous, anxious, and uncomfortable when there is nothing like tumultuous happening. When I watch serial killer documentaries, I'm relaxed. That's not right. That means my like emotional nervous system or whatever was wired very wrong. <laughs> anyway, I wanna share that part in this vlog because you know, as much as we talk about the girl talk stuff, like we need follow up. We need to, we need to close the circle. And I feel like since I haven't talked to you guys in two weeks, there's a lot of stuff that I need to update you on. I just can't think of any, any of it right now. I know it's Friday. I know I was really excited about showing you guys the teacher lanyard. That's why I haven't even wrapped it. Like I haven't even wrapped it. I could have shipped it already, but I was like, I need to show you guys. I need to show my friends. So what else? What else? Do you want to see the two new little purses that I bought for myself? It's a real purse. Do you guys don't believe me? Look, can you see? It's a it's a purse. <laughs> By his own letter. Look at his own letter. Oh my goodness. Look at this one. This one has a towel in it because I had to blow dry it with rubber bags, like plastic bags. You usually they come malformed or like shaped odd, so you have to like blast them with your hair dryer and then stuff them. I'm totally using this for date night tonight. Isn't it cute? Actually, since I have you, I could probably 
take the towel out now and show you what it's actually gonna look like. And it came with a chain. I don't think I'll use the chain though. Look at that, it's so cute! <laughs> what? I mean, that is plenty big for your phone, keys, lip gloss, mace, mini taser, whatever you need to go out with the ladies. But isn't that adorable? So yeah, pro tip, if you ever get anything that's like rubber, like plastic rubber like this, stuff it with, it's easier if you blast it with a hot dryer first and make it soft and then stuff it with clothes, a rolled up towel, socks, whatever, but it has to be tight and then blast it again and it gets its shape back like a nice little crunchy, crisp shape that it's supposed to have. The best part is each of these purses is like $2. I know. I've made the tragic mistake of verifying that Timu works, that website that's like sort of like an Amazon, but it takes a little bit longer to get your stuff. Ooh, the lighting is still nice in here, even though I deflated the, um, the, the jump. I keep calling it jumper and the boys keep correcting me and saying Val's house and I keep saying jumper. Yeah, so I, it was one of those things where I was like, it's too good to be true. So I'm gonna place an order, like a $25 order and see what happens. And it arrived in like three days and I was really excited. And now it's a problem because every time I think I need something, I find it on that website. And then I also find things I don't need, like those micro bags. But let's be honest, I will always find something that I don't need. It might as well be something that's $3. You know what I mean? Anyway, I gotta get to work. I gotta make a bunch of those frosting or decadent looking pop sockets. I gotta finish laundry. I gotta get ready for date night. I don't know if, if I'm gonna get ready ready though because Parker was like, I have to teach a class until X time. I'm gonna rush home. I'm just gonna have enough time to change and we can go. He's like, don't worry, it's casual. And I was like, the minute he drops the C word, I'm like, oh, I like the word casual. Does this work? <laughs> no, it doesn't. I wanna get a little cute. Like at the very least, I wanna blow dry my hair, you know? You know, look at what we just got. It's bread time. Little man's gonna be so happy. Look at my sandals. These are the ugliest sandals in the entire world, but they are so comfortable. I can't take them off. Also like $4. <laughs> okay, help me bring this inside. Oh man. Oh, it's so heavy. Hold please. Okay, wow. You know, it's true what they say. Like you get to a certain age. And then you have to make sounds when you move. All right, I hope I remembered to add the croissant to my order because date night and we love some good carbs. All right, let's see. Ooh, so much dry, so it's gonna make me panic. Here we go. I'm gonna take you, I'm gonna put you over here. And then I'm gonna take you, oh my goodness. And I'm gonna put you over here. Okay. And then, we got a little protection layer. Oh, I forgot I ordered these this time. I thought these would be nifty for Daniel because he loves to snack on the bread. So it's the same sourdough, except it comes in little baby rolls. Look how cute they are. And I'm sure they cook faster. Let's see, 400, 10 to 14 minutes. Yeah, the sourdough usually takes, I think, 20 to 24 minutes. Let me double check. That could be misinformation. 18 to 22. Yeah, so it's shorter. We got our Big Daddy croissants. We got the delicious chocolate chip cookies that are big enough to share, even though I don't ever share. <laughs> But these are my favorite, how cute. Oh my goodness, I'm excited to try these. I'll definitely do these today so that Daniel can try them after school. And I'm gonna go put these away now. Do you guys ever get so like engulfed in your day that you look up and the day is entirely gone and you have to rush and get kids and then you look up and then your day is entirely gone again and then you forget to vlog? No, asking for a friend, it's me, I'm the friend, hi. It is currently four o'clock. So I picked up Daniel from school and since we had, it's very rare that it's just like me and Daniel or Daniel and I, whatever. It's just, it's very rare that it's just the two of us. He hardly ever gets just one-on-one -on -one mom time. 
So we had our own little private jumping session in the uh, bounce house. I want to say jumper. And it was so much fun. And I told him, I was like, look, we're wasting all this time jumping and you haven't tried the little bread. He loved the tiny little sourdough so much. We made five. So I think there's eight in the bag. I made five just to test them out. I figured he would eat two if he was hungry and then Parker could taste one, I would taste one and then an extra like a wild card or whatever. He ate two and then he's like, mom, um, do you think I could take some to dad's house? And I was like, buddy, they're yours. I made them for you. So he stuffed them all into a Ziploc port bag and he hauled it, like he walked out with this little bag of bread. <laughs> so they're good. <laughs> But anyway, I lost my entire dates. At four o'clock, I was supposed to pick up Daniel's cake. Parker texted me that he's on the way home. And I was like, I forgot to get the cake. I need to go get it now. But that means I'm not gonna be able to shower. I am revoltingly sweaty and gross and greasy for date night. I mean, we're going to a sports bar, but still like nobody gotta be around this. And he's like, oh, don't even worry. I'll get it on my way home. It's no big deal, whatever. And I'm like, in that case, I'll show you guys what I've been up to. So I should be showering, but we're friends. And this is what friends do. And I'm in the sunshine on purpose because this is the best lighting. This is what I did the entirety of my day. Look at this cutie. We got like a little Lisa Frank inspired one. Yup. Hold on, let me make space because there's gonna be a lot of them. We got this one. It's a purple cow. Actually, I need better lighting. Uh, there we go. We got a purple cow. Do you see the little cows on there? There's three little cows and purple everything. And then we have this cutie. Look, he's holding a book. I know, so cute. And we have this pretty girl. It's like the My Melody and Cinerol. So pretty and girly. We have a random one. It was a request, but I never heard back from the requester, so I think I'm just gonna list it. It's a Hufflepuff Decoden grip. So we have like the little Hufflepuff logo, the lightning bolt and the yellow bow, and then just a bunch of little yellow cuties. And then we have two Karomis. These are like the more soft pastel looking ones, not like in your face Lisa Frank rainbow colors. Cute, right? So we got two of those Karomis and then a just um, onslaught of the Lisa Frank looking ones. So this was inspired by one of you guys. So we have, I think that's My Melody. We got Karopi. We got Cinerol. And these all take like three or four days to dry. So I gotta be super careful the way I store them the way I dry them out and also keeping them covered so that they don't get full of hair or lint or anything. But so we have another Karomi, we have a Pachaco right there, a little pom pom purin. And these are all in like the really bright rainbow colorful style. We have a little Hello Kitty. I can't tell if you guys are in focus because it's so bright in my office right now. Look at that one. The little yellow bow, he's so cute. And then a uh, Pachaco. Pretty, right? Anyway, it's been so cool because like I can't, I can't keep those in stock. And if you order one, I have added this little step to the process where I include a little tube of, it's like E6000, it's like a type of flexible rubber glue. Just for the off chance that something falls off. It shouldn't because there are like steps that I take beforehand to make sure that everything sticks onto the pop socket really well. This is symbolic for sticks on. And, but if the off chance that it does, there's a little package of glue in there just in case. But anyway, I have to, the whole plan like was to finish all of these. And when I looked up, I had to like rush and go get my child. <laughs> So the plan now is to just jump in the shower and do what I can with this and then go enjoy date night because tomorrow the hustle of the birthday party is on and I'm very excited because Daniel is so excited. It's so, it's sweet, you know, he's like super excited. He like got home, he ran into the bounce house and he's like talking about his friends coming tomorrow and he has a special 
a special friend that is coming and he is so smitten and it's just adorable. So I know tomorrow is going to be a very special magical day. That is if I can control myself this time around for date night because we don't need to relive last date night. Actually, it would be fun. That was, that was a very fun date night, zero regrets. The next day, that's a different story, but the actual date night, that was fun. <laughs>